uh, there's lots of good ones. Um, there's not so many bad ones, to be honest. You know, once you're at a professional level, it's, um, it's, it's, it's all very similar. Ones that stick out to, to memory, obviously Cardiff Principality Stadium, uh, when that's full with everyone on top of you, it's fantastic. The Aviva is another good one, uh, but for different reasons. Murrayfield, because of the history attached to it. Um, Twickenham is great, but we obviously don't get to work there very often. Um, Eden Park in New Zealand would always be a, a favourite of mine for doing my first test there. And then you look at other grounds and it's not through the, the size or the amount of people. It's for different experiences. You go to Fiji and uh, a referee there in uh, Nandi and the ground is totally different with everybody working their socks off to make sure that the game can be played in the first place and everyone stood around the pitch watching. So everything's different. Um, I think you just got to enjoy each, uh, each ground for its own merit. I think the best ones are can be the worst because they're the best ones on your good days and they can be your worst ones on your worst days. Um, everyone's got special grounds for them, but I mean, in the Premiership, we're, we're, we're lucky. We've got traditional grounds, Leicester, Gloucester, Bath, which are all special in their own ways. You can add club grounds like Exeter to that, which have, have come along more recently, but... Um, Bath on a Friday night with the cathedral lit up is, is amazing. Um, Leicester when it's full up and you walk under the tunnel and you can hear them stamping in the crowd is amazing. And then um, Gloucester when when the shed have got their back up it, it is again it is equally amazing. That's not to take away from any of the other grounds in the Premiership, but those, those three in the Premiership would would stand out to me. Um, and then internationally, um, I. I've, been, I've only been lucky enough to, to referee one of the big games at Twickenham um, with Harlequins versus Leicester last year, but that was full up. So that was a, a special occasion for me. Um, and then the, the Millennium Stadium full up with the roof shut. It's just crazy. There's not too many uh, bad grounds to the referee yet. No, um, some of the best ones, as I said last week, um, I believe like special in Europe where like the likes of Stad, uh, Marcel Michelin and Claremont and Stad Mayol in Toulon and La Rochelle is great. Uh, they're this special, special stadium, special grounds to referee at because they, they're always full houses, you know, and you know, take Claremont, for example, they all arrive two hours before and it's a race to get to the front. So you're warming up and you pretty much have a full house in front of you an hour before kickoff. So it's a fairly special, unique uh, thing to, to experience.